welcome to ATC CAD. I'm David Atkins. Roofs for residential buildings can be highly complex, but some basic issues can be solved quickly. Today's episode comes from a student question about Revit roofs. When designing a hip style roof with different slopes, how can you make the eaves line up properly? This is a quick video, so strap in and let's get to it. Let's take a super boring square building and add a roof. Using the roof by footprint command, we'll simply choose the pick walls option and make sure the defined slope checkbox is selected. Set an offset in the options bar, in this case, 18 inches. Using the tab key, select the entire outer chain of walls. We'll then click the mouse to add the boundary lines. This is basic stuff covered in most Revit courses, including our Revit architectural course, link in the description, and for a roof with identical roof slopes, there isn't much left to do. Checking out the 3D, we can see everything looks fine. But if we change the slope of these two boundary lines, I'm going to control click these two here and change the slope in properties. When I hit the green checkbox to complete the roof, if I take a look at the roof in 3D, I can easily see the problem. Because of the different angles, the bottom of the roof doesn't line up around its perimeter. Let's fix that. In order to fix the issue, we need to edit the boundary of the roof again by clicking on the roof and, you guessed it, choosing Edit Boundary. I find this easiest to do in the 3D view, but honestly, it doesn't super matter. In the ribbon, we'll see the tool Align Eaves. Selecting that tool, we'll see that each boundary line now shows the bottom elevation for each boundary, relative to the base level of the roof. To fix the issue, we need to do one of two things. We can change the relative elevations to match up, keeping the overhangs the same, or we can vary the overhang, which just extends the roof a bit more until the elevations match up. Let's see how each option looks. Choosing Adjust Height, we now need to select the eave we wish to align with. I will pick the negative 6 inch eave. Then we simply click on the two eaves that don't match that elevation. Doing this, we can see that we fixed the issue, and if we measure the offset, they remain the same. But measuring the size of the roof peak, it has changed. Here are the original dimensions you can compare. Going back, if we choose Adjust Overhang, we again select the eave we want to remain as is, and then click on the eaves we want to modify. You'll see that this adjusts the overhang offset dimension, but has left the roof peak size the same. Here are the three dimensions side by side, so you can see the differences. That's pretty much it. While residential roofs can be super complicated, the solutions to them don't have to be. Are there other Revit roof questions that you have? Let me know in the comments and I might make a video about it. Want to make sure I make a video about it? Join our Patreon. Member questions almost guarantee you'll get a video made. If Revit is brand new to you, our Revit beginner classes are a great way to get up to speed with it, and our advanced Revit classes are perfect for solving much more complicated challenges. Like and subscribe if you want to be a cool person, and share this video with anyone you know who is also struggling with this problem. If you're interested in that, or any of our AutoCAD, Civil 3D, Inventor, Fusion 360, SketchUp, 3DS Max, or MicroStation classes, you can find out more at atkinstechconsulting.com. As always, I'm David, and happy catting.